hello family welcome to my channel so today we have a very interesting video and before i start let me show you something the other day i went to visit my sweet grandma and uh, we celebrated her birthday together as she was turning 97 years old and this is the gift that she gave me look at this oh my god and one thing about baskets, they are very unique and they have a special meaning. When your parents gives you a basket, it means that they can see you've reached the age of getting married. And that's why she gave it to me. Something else she did is my hair. Look at this. Let me come closer and show you what she did to my hair. If you love her work, kindly give the video a like. At her age, she has managed to do this. Oh my God. In case you're wondering how she looks like, here she is. Amazing, beautiful like me. And I love her so much. So let's go back to the video. Let me show you what we are preparing today. This is something she cooked for me when I went to visit her. And because I've not been eating black beans, but she prepared it in a unique way. I want to share with you because of late I'm loving them after following her recipe. So because of the love that I have for you guys, I chose to share it with you so that you can eat what I ate. And it's so nutritious, very sweet, and I'm very sure you, you love it. To start, I'm going to put some water in a pot and cover it so that it can start boiling as I sieve or a, um, how do you call it? As I sort my black beans. For your meal to be sweet, you need matoke or plantain, some ripe bananas also, capsicum or pilipilihoho, pili some onions, salt, uh, ginger. Then some uh, body lotion, uh, not body lotion, body oil. Next, we are going to start by peeling our plantain or our matokes. Matoke means, uh, when I talk of matoke, I mean the raw bananas. And for us to do that successfully, I need to apply some uh, mafuta on my hands so that the matina does not stick on my hands. 
let me know on the comment box how you call that sticky substance that um, attaches itself on your hands once you're peeling your raw or unripe bananas for us here we call it madina and uh, the only way to protect our hands from it you apply some um, bod body jelly on your hands so that as you peel it does not stick on your hands it's such an easy task you just peel it like this and remember i told you here we have so many types of bananas we have bananas that are specifically for cooking and others that, that are for ripening so for this one is specifically for cooking and this is how it looks like so let me first go wash them and to wash them i'll need some soap so this is the soap that i'm using just a normal soap rub it uh, thoroughly around your hands like this so i'll rub my hands with the soap so, so that i can remove the oil because I don't want everything that I touch to have the oil. And as you can see, I'm still carrying my basket. Today, I'm not removing it. I am just in love with it. It reminds me of my grandma. I miss her already. But because she's far, I'm far. I think next time I'll have to come with her here. My grandma occupies a special part or place in my heart. Because she has brought me up for the longest time since I was born and um, the bond between her and I is that strong just an encouragement if you have your parents with you or the people who have brought you up take good care of them you notice that our black beans are ready they actually don't take that long because it has taken me around one hour so I'll go ahead and start smashing them like this I'm a kubonda and as you can see, I have a special tool for doing this. This is just a plastic bottle that I added some water to the fullest. Then I covered it to use it in doing this work. It works magic. If you don't have something to do this, try this bottle and you'll thank me later. can see the consistency has become kind of smooth so this is how it looks like and the next i'll add in my boiled bananas so for the bananas they are ready they actually take around two to three minutes so let me remove them and add them to my black beans so that i can mash them together Meanwhile, I'll put my red onions with some cooking oil on the fire so that I fry them till they turn golden brown.
Next, I'll add some salt to taste. When it comes to salt, remember it's up to you to measure how much salt you're going to use. And remember, I told you here in Africa, we measure salt with our eyes. So depending on the amount of food that you're cooking, just measure the salt with your eyes by the look. Next, I'm going to add in my coconut oil. If you've never tried coconut oil, just go try it because I'm sure you love it. If you love the video so far, kindly give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think about this video on the comment box. And in case you've not yet subscribed, kindly consider subscribing. We'll also add some small uh, amount of black paper so that it makes my food that sweet so let's continue mashing them till we get a smooth consistency like the one we had before adding the bananas Our red onions are ready so we are going to add in our ripe bananas inside the cooked onions and this is how we are going to do it have already washed my bananas so i'll fry them and ensure they've attracted that sweetness of the onions then i'll transfer the black beans inside my cooked bananas that is the ripe bananas then i mash them together and our food will be ready so stick around till the end and i'm very sure you love what you'll see next so remember i have already mashed my black beans together with the plantain this time around i'm just mashing them with the cooked ripe bananas so that um it attract that onions flavor and remember ripe bananas are sweet so there's no way your black beans will be bitter and that's why i added very little amount of salt because i knew my ripe bananas will change everything this is how it goes and because of the coconut oil i hope you can see the consistency is somehow smooth but in case your black beans are rough, you can always add some milk. So guys, we've come to the end of today's video. Allow me to enjoy my black beans with coconut oil. I love you 